how to use the internet to create multiple streams of income and to create your own economy around your brand. Probably get this question a lot, how to start an online business. We're going to give you three simple tips on how to start it and here's why it's very, very simple because when we look at problems, we want to be able to create a simple solution or find the simple solution. Is it going to be easy? Probably not. But is it going to be simple? Yes. Why? Simplicity scales. And just know that creating an online brand and creating your own economy online, right? And when I say economy, I'm talking about an ecosystem, things that are able to have a ripple or compound effect in the online space. You start building one source, another source branches off of that and it just starts ripple affecting and you start to create your own economy online. So I'm gonna give you guys three simple steps on how to do that. And why, why would we even wanna do this? Well, a few reasons is because, and, and one of them is to be able to create something that will run for generations to come. One of my favorite books in the Bible, it's in the book of Proverbs, and it says, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Okay, we want to be able to build brands and brands means you have clients, customers and people's trust. Branding equals trust. And if you can create your own economy where people will go to you because of your products or services and simply because they trust you, because they know that you're going to deliver on the service that you promise. Welcome to having recurring customers and clients. Okay, it builds brand, which builds trust. Number two is it builds assets okay it builds a business that creates an asset and we want to be able to create something that's generating money that's generating income so as we're going out there we want to be able to build something an asset that will pay us daily monthly this is how we start to create our own economy and obviously we lay down systems around that it's so possible nowadays in the online space to be able to do this and this is why we do what we do it doesn't happen overnight but it happens over time so let me give you guys three pillars on how to get started number one is we need to build an audience once you can master how to build an audience and that's around creating content being able to master certain platforms and to just go all out on a platform and then from there it starts to you know, you can, you can start transform, transferring that over to another platform, but now it's learning the strategies to build an audience. We need to learn how to build an audience. And if you're looking to build an audience, that's pretty much all we do. And it starts from creating content, writing, becoming more of a producer rather than a consumer. And it's great to consume. It's not bad to consume, but we need to learn how to produce and build an audience around that. So the first thing on starting a brand that's going to build your own economy is learning how to build an audience. And there's so many, many ways we could do that. I teach that a lot on this channel, a lot through my, my content out there, but building an audience is going to give you guys the leverage that you're looking for. Number two is offering a service or a product. Some of you guys might have a service. Some of you guys might have a product that you're already willing and ready to sell. Now it's like, hey, how can I build an audience and get people that are actually interested in my services, interested in my products? How can I allow them to trust me with what I know that I could sell them and it's going to de deliver and it might even over deliver. Okay, so number two is we need to build a service or a product. And like I said, some of y'all probably have have that there's so many ways and and so, and so many avenues on how to build it how to create an offer how to create a service and I, you guys I'll probably link some videos on that but the gist of it and I think about a few little things it's bringing your passion and profit and and, and what's gonna what's gonna profit into one right passion profit and then the last the last thing is 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 uh, purpose and there's a way to find that from your passion because your passion might not always make profit and your profits that you want from a business might not always be your purpose. But there's levels to it. There's seasons to it. So there's this little tri trifecta between those two and there's a sweet spot right in the center of how to be able to do that. For example, me, I'm passionate. I have a relationship with God, but also I like to do marketing and also I like to do online stuff. So it's being able to find that middle ground to be able to say, okay, What's something I'm passionate about and how can I monetize that to create a profit but still have that balance to lead towards my purpose? So building a, a product or, or, or a service or an offer, right? 
all, all around the same thing. Being able to master this, and obviously, some of us, like I said, y'all might already have a service. You're like, RC, I know how to sell this. I already have this offer, I have this service, I, I have a skill set. How can I go out there and build an audience to find my ideal leads, to find my ideal prospects, clients, customers? And this is where, like I said, you're either one or the other, one or the other, one or the other, right? Like, hey, I got an audience. I know people that have a big audience, don't know how to make any money. I know people that have a solid service, they just don't know how to build an audience. These are the things that's needed in order to sustain you and build your own economy long term. And number three, the last pillar and the last step that we're gonna be talking about on building your own economy and your own brand online and creating all these sorts of incomes and how to create that compound and ripple effect, number three is marketing and sales. Marketing and sales. Marketing is the ability to generate a lead. Sales is the ability to close the lead, close the deal. And if you're able to do this, if you're able to get leads, capture them, bring them and nurture them through this sequence, through your process, through your content, through your writing, through your brand, and eventually get them to convert into a sale, you have mastered the art of making money online. Seriously, it's an art. It's both an art and, and a science to be able to make money online. So let's say you got the audience, you built the following, right? This is where the marketing comes in, learning how to build that. Yes, we could talk so much about just marketing, we could talk so much about sales, but once you can be able to master these two, this is all a business needs. The, the lifeblood of a business is revenue. Okay, above all that is profit. Like somebody can make a hundred grand, but then expenses, everyone paying out, you know, it's like you can make a hundred grand a month, but let's say everything after the, the office, the overhead, it's 95 grand. So you only profited five grand. I'd rather make 50 grand a month profiting 50%, which is 25 grand, than making a hundred grand a month and only profiting five grand because my expenses is 95. So there's a difference from, yeah, generating revenue to keep your company going versus actual profit month to month to month. And this is where if you can master marketing and sales and obviously build a solid audience that allows them to trust you, they're willing to pay top dollar a higher premium. And this is the art. And like I said, it's an art and a science to be able to know your market, know your audience, know how to relate to them and really drive value and, and to bring a service or product that is second to none. So hopefully you guys enjoy this talked a few things. These are the three simple things to get started. Build your own online economy, build your own brand online, create multiple sources of income. And yeah, it just starts with one income. And then one income, it builds, it, it, it ripple effects, it compounds. That one source can turn into two, can turn into three. And you start building it, laying down the foundation, starting hiring the right team. And this is how you're able to, a decade later, two decades later, a couple years later, a couple months. Life can change fast if you change fast. So these are the three simple things. Number one is learning how to build an audience. Number two is the ability to have a service or product already that you're willing to sell. And you guys might have one or the other and you just need help with the rest. Or maybe you have both and now it's like, hey, how can I market this, right? How can I learn how to market, build brand, get, get leads that are actually interested, not just eyeballs, but turn them into interest and then how to actually sell them. And once you can master this, you can build any business from the ground up. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below in the comments. You guys can tap in, hit the like, hit the sub. Last announcement that I wanna make is I have this niche list. So let's say that you guys don't know what your product or service is. Join the newsletter, join the email list. I'll send it to you. We have over 147 plus niches, plus some bonuses for services that you guys can sell to certain industries. Check that out. It's a free PDF, a free guide down below. If you guys ever have any questions, message me, email me back, reply back. Y'all be blessed. Have a great week. Take care. I'm so free, I got no Chains on me. I'm so free. I got no chains on me.